Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would do a skincare routine as I get so many absolutely lovely comments about my skin and I honestly don't think it looks that great. But you all seem to think it looks really nice. That's even before I put all the makeup on. I get such lovely, lovely comments and I really do appreciate them because I really don't think my skin is great at all. I do think there is a lot of room for improvement but I am working on it. So today I thought I'd share with you my evening skincare routine as I tend to use a lot more skincare products in an evening rather than a morning. But of course if you'd like me to do a morning one as well I am more than happy to do that. Now a lot of these are from a certain brand which you know that I love but these are generally what I use. Obviously I don't use all of these every day, it sort of depends on what my skin feels like that day and what I think it needs basically. But a lot of these I've been using for a long time so I know that they work and I know that they work with my skin and just to remind you or tell you if you are new to this channel I have oily skin which is prone to breakouts and also darkness under my eyes as you can see there so I tend to use a lot of products that are for oily skin and also sensitive skin as it does break out very easily and I would also like to say that I don't have any makeup on right now because as we're in lockdown I've not really been wearing makeup so this is very real this is how my face would normally look I normally don't wear the makeup and if I do it's basically my eyebrows and that's about it so yeah I've tried to get this as real as possible so I think we'll get into my evening skincare routine now for cleanses there are three that I tend to go between sometimes I will try a different one but one of my absolute favorites is this which is the Clinique anti-blemish solutions cleansing foam I have been through I don't know how many bottles of this I absolutely love it my face just feels so clean when I've used this and it doesn't break it out it helps with any blemishes that I've got and while you can use the Clinique whole line of anti-blemish I tend to just use this one I find it works perfectly on its own alongside the other products that I use and I, and also this lasts for quite a while it is I don't, I don't think it actually says how big this bottle is Oh, 125 millilitres but I tend to use just like one pump which is more than enough and on days when my skin is feeling a little dry and might need just that little bit of extra moisture I tend to use the hydrating milky cleanser from Pixi now I've done a full video on this range you know how much I love it it just feels so rich very moisturizing my skin looks so nice I think it looks a lot more plump as well once I've used this and this one is actually for all skin types but of course if you are very dry skin you're going to probably get the most benefit out of this again I only use a tiny little bit of this I think it spreads really well and I actually really like the smell of it as well now one this is more of a scrub but it does cleanse your face at the same time and that is the nip and fab glycolic scrub fix as you can see I'm nearly out of this this has been just life changing since I started using it. I tend to get a lot of spots like just here on my face for some reason, I don't know why. And this really helps sort of clear it up. I already use glycolic acid and I love the benefits for it. But this feels, it's like very gritty. Absolutely love it. I really love that like sort of scrubby type feel. Like a scrubby hand lotion as well. Absolutely love it. I know a lot of people don't like that texture. But love this. And this is to refine, brighten and renew. Definitely find all of those. My skin looks so much better but I only tend to use this maybe once a week, maybe not even that. It really depends on what my skin feels like at the time. But one thing which I uh, think has uh, definitely changed my skincare routine, especially the cleansing part. And I use it especially with these two cleansers and not the scrub one because it's just too harsh for that. And that is the Duval Radiance Spin Care System. So this is it right here. So this is like one of these ones that spins the top. It really helps to like get that cleanser right into your skin. Especially if you have makeup on. It brings it off it's so much easier than you have to like scrub it with your own hands. And it just has the on and off there. This is so easy to hold as well. I love that it's more of like a silicone on this middle bit where it's blue. It makes it so easy to hold especially if your hands are wet. And it's lightweight. I just absolutely love this. Like I said, I've been using it with the cleansers and I really like how it works with this foaming one. It just seems to spread it a lot more easy and really get into all the pores and my skin, which as I have oily skin, I really need it to get into those pores to help clear it. And while I've used one of these before, I think this is so much better. And I love that it actually comes with some other different heads for it. So this is the cleansing head. So as you can see, 
So that is the cleansing head there. It's very, very soft and it's just perfect for cleansers. You also get an exfoliator, which looks very, very similar to that, except the bristles aren't quite as soft. Um, they're still soft, but obviously it's to work with an exfoliator, so you need that little bit more roughness. But I don't find this harsh on my skin at all. I just think it work, work, mm, I just think it works really well with the exfoliator, and my skin feels really soft once I've used it as well. Like even though it does when I use an exfoliator anyway, that just makes it feel next level. One thing I actually love about this Duval set is that it comes with this one, which is actually a body brush. I've never had one of these before, like on an electric machine. I think that's what you call it. I don't know, but this is just incredible i have seen such a difference with skin all over my body since using this and again it just makes it feel really clean the bristles are extremely soft and as you can see it's quite large as well so it means it gets a good area on your skin one of my problem areas is my back and i actually find this really easy just to get to my back with the thing and it's made such a difference as well i just use any type of body wash or anything like that and yeah just works really well and it also comes with a pumice stone, which is mainly for your feet or anywhere where you get extremely dry, hard skin, which again, obviously is your feet. And this actually feels so nice. I use this after I've been on my feet all day and my feet felt so nice. It also did help to soften the skin on my feet and get rid of some. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I was quite surprised, especially since it is so tiny as well. But as you can see, it's like a dome there. It also does come, of course, with instruction book. And that says in there which brush is which, as you can see there. So it's really easy to use. And like I said, all you have to do is put in some batteries, turn it on, and you're away. It could not be easier. And I've seen such a difference since I used this. And I'm definitely going to keep using it. And I'll just show you now a little clip of me using it with the cleanser. As you can see that is so easy to use i tend to put the cleanser on my face and then use this but of course like with the pixie one you could of course just put it onto the brush itself and then use it to put on your face it's really up to you whatever you find easier i tend to just put put i tend to just put the cleanser on my face first as i don't know that's just tend to what i do i don't really have a reason but yeah i would 100 percent recommend one of these and i will leave a link to it in the description bar below I just think it is amazing, so easy to hold, really works, that's it. And now some days after cleansing, if I have time, if I can be bothered, um, I will use a face mask and there are two that I like using. I don't really like the mask ones, I prefer ones that you put on your face, let it dry. I just think that works so much easier and it's a lot less messy as well. Um, especially since I have quite a small head, the mask ones do not fit, they are just everywhere and just, yeah just doesn't work but anyway i like the pixie t-zone peel off mask which is this here and this actually comes out in like a metallic green i don't know why but that just makes it so much more fun and i love it it also dries pretty quickly and it really does help to get into those pores as well obviously as the name suggests i use it on the t-zone so forehead nose and i just sort of do it just onto the cheeks there I tend to do it on my chin as well they're just areas that i have think need the extra help but my skin just tends to feel really nice after using this it doesn't feel tight at all and i hate that in a mask when it leaves your face feeling tight and dry this doesn't do that at all and you only need a small amount as well so this is really going to last for a while and then to go along with a mask i love using these which are the pixie Dif detox eye depuffing eye patches like i said i do get darkness under my eyes and these are really help and they also smell so nice i know you can get these in a few different ones depending on what your face needs but it comes with a little spatch i'm not going to open these because they are really slimy but once they're on the face they actually stick really well but they also feel quite cooling as well you can also put these in the fridge and they feel incredible especially on those especially on a warm day and then I also like using these which are pore strips and these are charcoal nor 
noise charcoal nose pore strips and they're from skin techniques so i have the nose ones and also the chin and forehead ones like i said my forehead chin and my nose are places that really suffer with like the clogged pores and i just find these work so well they really do help to get in the pores but they, but they don't hurt my face or anything when i'm pulling them off like i know some nose strips they are so painful to pull off but these aren't but they still do help bring everything out from your skin like i said i don't use these too often as i don't want to irritate my skin but yeah when i feel like they need it these are definitely what i reach for you also get six of each in each box as well i think they're only like a pound and I forgot to say, if I am wearing makeup in the day, if it's really heavy makeup, like more face paint, I tend to use a face wipe to remove it. I don't really have a preference on them, just only for that for sensitive skin. But if I just have like eye makeup on, I will use one of these, which are the Pixie Makeup Removers or Cleansers. So this is a Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover. This is just incredible. Even on waterproof makeup, it really brings it off so easily. And I actually love the top of these as it has like a little pump type thing. You just put your cotton bud on top, press it down, and it has enough product on it that you need. And this is just quite hydrating as well. It's not drying or anything like that. And then I also like the Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. This smells incredible and I absolutely love it. I do also like the tonic as well that goes with this. Again, this is just really good if you want just a quick quick cleanse or I sometimes use it before and then go on to the other cleanser so I do like a double. Um, again, it removes makeup really easily and really like it. Now for toner and it's so easy, everyone knows exactly what I like and that is this which is the Pixie Glow Tonic. I've raved about this so much on my channel and also on Instagram. This is one of the big bottles that they very kindly sent to me also has my name on which is very cute i started using this must be about three years ago four even and my skin has never looked better since i started using it i used to get breakouts literally all over my face and now this really does help reduce them and if i do get them i think it helps to clear them a lot easier as well as this is an exfoliator and it helps brighten, reveal healthy glowing skin. Which I definitely confirm it does do. But I do use a lot of the Pixie Tonics. It really sort of depends on what my skin feels like that day. If I've used a mask, if I've used a cleanser, um, if I've done one of the scrubs. Like it depends what it needs and to give it back that sort of moisture and everything or whatever they might have lost. But another one that I tend to reach for quite a lot is the retinol tonic. So this is just a little travel size. And it's, this is a multi-action treatment with time release retinol. Which helps to replenish the skin. I tend to reach for this one once I've had a full face of makeup on that day. It just really helps to sort of soothe the skin back down again. Again, it really helps to stop blemishes and things like that. I just really like this. And the fact that it's purple as well. <laughs> And for moisturiser, I find it really hard to find a moisturiser that actually works with my skin. I find a lot are too thick, or they break it out, or they just don't seem to work. My skin sometimes feels drier. One I do like is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Lotion. As you can see, I like quite a lot from this milky range from Pixie. But I find this works so well, it actually like soaks into the skin pretty quickly. My skin feels nice, and yeah it just seems to actually work i think it's because it's more of a deep hydrating moisturizer so it's trying to get right down into all the layers of your skin rather than just sitting on top which i find is what a lot of moisturizers do and this you can actually use on your body as well so it is multi-purpose so once you have used the devol for your body and washed it you can use this as the moisturizer after it also smells really nice as it does have coconut and cocoa seed a few other things so it smells really nice Another one I tend to reach for for my face is the Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. This is just a little sample size. I find this actually works really well under makeup, but also at night, as again, it soaks in very quickly. It just feels nice. It doesn't seem to break me out at all because it's not as thick as some others. Um, it's quite sort of watery based, but I quite like that as it. I really feel like I can sort of blend it into my skin really easily but yeah i just really like this and also the packaging is so cute now for an eye cream the one i've been using recently is this which is too school too school too cool for school 
Caviar Lime Hydra Eye Treatment and this is an intense eye moisturiser and I just think this works so well, it feels really nice under the skin again it's another one you could put in your fridge and it just feels really hydrating and also really cooling and refreshing on your skin especially after you've used all these cleansers and things and this is brightening and anti wrinkle properties and it's a moisture eye cream that adheres lightly and it has the zinc energy of caviar lime I don't really know what caviar lime is but it seems to work for my skin so I really like it Again, you only need quite a small amount. I sort of pat it in with my ring finger just around my eyes. But obviously, you're going to see that anyway. Um, but yeah, that is the eye cream I've been using recently. I'm really liking. And now, lastly, is oils or serums. Whichever you want. Um, so one I do like for overnight is Overnight Retinal Oil from Pixi again. And this is a soothing night oil. So obviously, you're going to use this at night. With this, you have to put a few drops in the palm of your hand, warm it up between your hands and then put it on your face. You do not put this straight on your face, it does not work like that and it will be really oily, not sinking. It sort of needs to be warmed up a little bit before you apply it. But I found this actually helps to reduce the look of pores and that is one of the things it says to do and also fine lines and skin plumpness. I find this really nice, I like the smell of it. Once you've warmed up in your hands, it does actually blend into your skin really easily. It does sort of sit for just a little bit, but I don't really mind that. But yeah, I really like the overnight oil. And then one which, oh my god, this has just been game changing. I know I've said that about a couple of things, but this really has. And this is the Niacinamide Serum from Good Molecules. I absolutely love this and it's made such a difference like I said I do get blemishes like around this part of my head also my chin and yeah up here as well you can see there's one there I use this maybe just for a couple of nights and they just disappear even the redness underneath it's just incredible and this is with 10% nichromide to revise skin textures and minimize pores you only need I think I use about three drops of this um, forehead and on each cheek and then sort of just rub it in my hands really gently it blends in so no it's absorbed so quickly by your skin makes it feel nice not drying absolutely amazing i've seen such a difference since using this and i think this is one of the things that has made the biggest difference since i started using it i've been using this for about a year i think actually no it's gonna be over a year now and this is my second bottle in that time which I think is absolutely amazing also I love this packaging it's glass so it's really easy to recycle as well you just take out the plastic and then the last thing I use in my skincare routine is lip balm I normally do this just before I go to bed and this is the O'Keefe's lip repair and the unscented one I find this works so well it tends to sort of stay on as well and my lips actually feel really nice using this really like it so happy with it so yeah that is everything i use in and my evening skincare routine like i said i don't use all of these every single day i sort of pick one from each category depending on what i feel like doing or what i can be bothered to do basically but yeah like i said a lot of it is pixie because i genuinely love their skincare i do also love the makeup as well obviously but this is all about skincare so I will link to everything I have used in the description bar below, including the link to the Duval set, which I think is absolutely amazing. I am definitely going to keep using, and I've seen such a difference since using it, so I would 100% recommend. But I hope you liked my evening skincare routine. If you would like to see a morning one as well, please let me know and I will be sure to do that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video, and I'll see you soon with another. Bye!